Hello YouTube, this is Brent Time from Team Lucky 7 Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a 7 Days to Die dedicated server. And in another video linked with an annotation at the end of the video will be how to set up one with an Hamachi. Okay? So to start off, find your 7 Days to Die folder. Mine's on my desktop. Yours actually might be in C Drive, Program Files x86, or Program Files 7 Days to Die Alpha. Alright, if it's in there, you're going to need to open that up. Okay, the first thing I do is I bring up my properties. Honestly, this method might already be selected for you. Um, I'll have a copy-paste method at, um, that I'll be showing you in a minute. Uh, this method already might be irrelevant to you. So, I clicked on the wrong thing. Properties. Okay, once you've got that, then you need to find your data, worlds, navits again, saves, and then the world you want to pick. I'm going to pick game. Yes, I do have bitch please and Rex is a bitch. Okay, those are my worlds. Okay, so game. That's the world I need. All right, so to start off with, the first thing we need to do is we need to open a notepad document. I already have one open. And this was actually, I'm not taking any credit for this method. This was made by Mr. Teflon. Okay, so send him ups and reps and he needs to be more starred. I don't know if anyone created it before that, but hey, whatever. This guy posted it, and I know about it a while ago. Okay, so once you have this copy-pasted, which it is in the description below if you want to copy and paste it from there, not to type it out, um, it'll, you know, you have this, okay? So first thing first, you're probably going to want to change this before you forget. All right, that's going to be the method for absolutely everyone. Now, the method for me and other people that have it on their desktop or other Go ahead and go to the location of the 7 days to die exe, copy it, put it in front of the 7 days to die exe, not leaving out the quotation, and boom. Now it says that. See that? All right. Then you do file, save as, make sure it's all documents, and name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it YouTube because that's what everyone does on YouTube. They name it YouTube, okay? that the, All tutorials do that. Save it as YouTube, or not YouTube, save it as something dot bad. Save. All right, and then it'll appear on your desktop. You can close that, don't save. And uh, if you ever need to edit it because you did something wrong, right click, edit. Whoa, mind blown, right? All right, double click that, and this is now open. We're gonna close that because we haven't port forwarded yet. All right, now what port forwarding is, if you don't know, port forwarding is, uh telling your router to send traffic through whatever you want it to. Okay, so to start off, let's bring a window over here because we're going to need this in a minute. And let's type in CMD into our start menu. Enter. Once you're in your DOS screen for your um, what we just typed in, hit IP, or not hit, but type IP config, no spaces. Hit enter. Scroll up to where you know your Ethernet local area connection one is. This is going to be your actual internet if you have Hamachi. Actually, my Hamachi is installed, so for the next video. But anyways, find your default gateway, and you're going to need this number. You're also going to need the IPv4. Okay, the default gateway is what we're just leave this open. Okay, just leave the DOS screen open. Um, for the default gateway, we're going to type it in 192.168.2.1. All right, now I actually have to black out all this information over here because well. I don't want you to see that. All right, anyway, from here, you're going to look for port triggering, for port forwarding, or virtual servers, or something about forwarding ports, okay? Something. Just go through the options until you find it. All right, so mine's virtual servers. All right, once here, there's two different methods to doing this. You can do what I did and just make it a whole bunch of, uh, you know, 25,000, 25,001, 25,002, 25,003. You can make it all of those, okay? Or you can type it like this, and I'm gonna delete this once I'm done. And you type 25,000 to 25,003. That works. And I don't know if it's UDP or TCP. I just use UDP because, well, it, it I like U's better than T's. Okay, next thing you need to know is you're gonna see a private IP address, okay? And mine is eight, so I type in eight. Boom. If you have a really easy client, you probably just have to click a little bubble. Now, if you are unsure where your port forwarding thing is, just look for where it says inbound port, private port, type. If you see UDP and TCP, you're in the right area. 
Okay, once that's done, hit Apply Changes. You're actually completely done port forwarding at this point. If you really want to make sure you know what you're doing, and I'll include a link in the description below, you can actually use a program called um, Port Forward Port Checker. And um, I'll again, I'll leave a link in the description below to get it, to get it. And if you want to check it, and all you got to do is type in the port and see if it's uh, open. Okay, so once that's done, we can actually start up a server with this YouTube.bat. Double click it; it'll ask me to do whatever. And now, essentially, what this is doing is this is actually starting a server with no graphics. Okay, so it's just a game with no graphics. It actually crashed, I think. That's weird. Okay. And uh, I'll see you in game, so we can test this. Now there is one thing I forgot to tell you that, and I didn't do, is you have to edit it, and where it says world name, you actually do have to change it. You go in your world and just copy, uh, rename, control C, and teleport it says world name, Navis game, and then save it. All right, now once in game, go ahead and hit uh, connect to server. And then you're going to type in 127.0.0.1. Alright, now this is not what your friends are using. Your friends are going to be using uh, what you're going to find out as your IP. So you go to Google, you type in, what is my IP? It's going to be a number. It's probably going to be like a whole bunch of numbers. And then uh, you copy that and give it all to all your friends. Now be safe with it because it is like an internet address. Okay, so don't give it to people you don't really know. And uh, so now you're going to connect through this. Hit start, and then it's going to start loading, uh, and then it's going to build your environment, and then you're going to hit enter to join the world. Now, currently, there's no one in here right now. Uh, that's because I haven't given out my friends my IP yet to start playing with us, but we have been playing um, on this world. So, I hope you guys do enjoy. Um, I do hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like. If you do have questions, I am here to answer, um, and, uh, you know, I'll try and figure it out. If I can't, remember, there's always the 7 Days to Die forums, and, uh, I pretty much answer within, uh, 24 hours. Within, okay? Not always, but almost, okay? So, uh, yeah, this has been Brent Time from Team Lucky 7 Gaming. Hope you found this extremely helpful. If you do want to use Hamachi, I will have a video for that as well. Thank you for watching.